Hi, good afternoon to you all. Uh, my name is Itkar, and I'm here to uh, talk to you about a wonderful innovation that it really has the potential to set a new standard for heart bypass surgery. I want to start out today by showing you a picture of my father. And uh, the reason I'm doing that is that he's actually the motivation that I'm doing this work. Um, my father suffered from severe heart issues and had to undergo bypass surgery a number of years ago. And a uh, number of complications occurred in this, uh, this procedure and he actually had to spend about a week in uh, the intensive care unit um, and never really recovered to his full self afterwards. Um, I think part of that is just that the, uh, the, the old procedure has been just incredibly invasive and can create these traumatic experiences. And so to me, it's a reason to, to see if I can contribute to bring a product to market that will make this less invasive. Um, as we all know, I think coronary artery disease is still the single largest cause of death in our world. Um, an incredibly high percentage of people are actually affected by this. I'm sure all of you know someone who has uh, been affected by it. And um, uh, I'm afraid that a pretty large proportion of people in this room may actually be, uh, be faced with it as well, personally. Um, overall, about a million people need to undergo this surgery worldwide every year, um, like my father did. And uh, the shocking thing is that the techniques and technologies used for this procedure haven't really changed much in the last uh, 30 years. So there's a real need for innovation in this area to make it less invasive. Um, the problem with the current procedure um, is that it's, 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 it's incredibly invasive for patients when the rib cage is split open the patient is put on a heart-lung machine, the heart is stopped, the blood flow is interrupted. Um, as a result, you'll see long hospital stays, you'll see all kinds of complications uh, and very long recovery times. Um, for surgeons also, it's actually a quite demanding procedure. It requires a lot of training, a lot of skill and experience. And as a result, you'll see that there, the results of the bypass can vary quite a bit with the quality of the surgeon. Um, now, we at AMT Medical have created a device that can really create a solution for these issues. Uh, it's, of course, a huge market, and there is not really any successful competitor on the market. Uh, so it's, it's really a blue ocean. If you compare sort of today's standard, um, and you look at it, the, this whole process of you know, splitting, the, uh, splitting open the sternum, um, stopping the heart, um, it's, it, it, and then having hand suturing with just really a thread in a needle. Um, some people have described it to me, it may be a bit exaggerated, as almost a medieval procedure. Um, and um, what we're um, putting by contrast in place of this is um, the use of a heart clip and a laser catheter to make a very safe and standardized bypass connection, um, which doesn't require any kind of hand suturing, uh, and there's not gonna be any blood leakage. So the benefits of this are gonna be very clear to both the patient and the surgeon, um, because it's gonna make the surgery less invasive. Um, in the first stage, we're gonna be applying uh, our solution, which is called Elana. Uh, we're gonna be applying it in the open setting to prove its safety. Um, and we've already done that with, with, with 10 patients. Um, but in the open setting already, um, there are some, some clear benefits. Um, the heart doesn't have to be stopped. It can be performed on a beating heart. It's really an enabler for the, uh, the off-pump uh, solution, which gives much better clinical results for the patients. Um, but also, um, it's just it's a standardized solution. So the quality of the bypass connection will always be the same and doesn't really depend on the experience of the surgeon. Um, but really, the next step and the big promise is that this can be applied in a minimal invasive setting. So you won't have to open uh, 
um, the rib cage anymore. It can be done through keyholes between the ribs. Um, and it also lends itself very well to application by, by robots. Why is this going to work? And we're actually quite convinced it is going to work because it has been proven before in the brain. Um, the original invention was made by uh, Professor Tulliken, who is actually the father of our current CEO. Um, he was a brain surgeon, and it was developed first in the brain, and uh, it already got CE and FDA uh, approval um, a long time ago. But it, um, even though it saved quite a few lives, commercially it turned out to be a very small market. Um, so then all the patents were transferred to our new company, AMT Medical, to further develop, uh, develop it, the solution for the heart. And um, so our, we have a very strong uh, portfolio of patents. Um, like I said, um, it started out in the brain. It took many, many years to develop it further for, uh, for the heart. And last year, we had a, a major breakthrough with the first uh, uh, 10 human patients. And all the results were, were very, uh, very promising. On the back of that, we're launching a much larger clinical trial in Europe. Um, and then also starting in the US later this year with the first patients. So the timeline is such that we are uh, aiming for commercialization in Europe in 25 and in the United States in, in 26. So we during the first 10 in the US um, at the end of this year, early next year, um, and that will be followed up immediately with a larger uh, clinical trial to get the uh, FDA approval. Um, we're doing all of this work with a uh, just terrific team of about 20 people all together. You see the management team uh, lined up here. Um, and we're also um, advised by um, a great board of clinical advisors, um, some of the you know, top, top medical professionals from, from Germany, from the Netherlands, but also from, from New York, Chicago, and, and uh, UC Davis in California. Um, so um, it's always very uh, motivating to see that, that so many of these people actually believe in the product. So this brings me to the final point, which is, uh, which is our, uh, our next investment round. Um, we're going to need uh, 25 million. We're going to need that sometime later this year, early next year, to uh, bring the, really make the final step with, uh, with Elana and bring it to market in both Europe and the US, and um, you know, we'd be very happy to get to know more you know, professional investors who share our same enthusiasm for tackling society's biggest killer and making heart surgery uh, a, a bit better and, and much less invasive. Thank you very much.